Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Hard West 2 with me, Bregaton. Let's check out the Lone Stranger. We stumbled upon a lone settler in a hole ridden hat. He looked like if he was half eaten by mice. He seemed cold and was cursing under his breath, seemingly struggling to dig in the frozen ground. Approach the Lone Stranger. But what are you up to, partner? The stranger jumped and thrown both his hands in the air. He wore no weapons but the flimsy shovel. We managed to calm him down a bit, but he had trouble relaxing, looking at our posse. We... we can help each other, if you promise not to rob me, kind sir. Promise that you won't rob him. I promise. What's the problem? Last year I've buried my family savings here, beside this rock. And now, that I so desperately need them, I can't dig through this godforsaken frozen ground. Help me, and I'll pay you. Well, good luck with that. Where does the path lead? Let's see if Bergson or Zeke sells a pickaxe. I'm assuming they don't because I would have bought it. No luck. We ain't really dressed for this. So mechanic they got rid of that was in the first Can game is the scars anything? mechanic. Basically, if you get shot I or injured in combat, I spotted something. There's a chance you'd that be wounded, direction. which provides a debuff. But if you survive for two more fights, I think it was two. With that We're wound, lost, it'd become a scar, which would give you a buff instead. But you could get rid of the wounds at a surgeon, but then you don't get the scar and you don't get the, the buff at the end. Oh, we need to speak to Lazarus. I need to exchange words with Lazarus, but isn't the man of the hour. Ask about his past. You want to know more about me? I'm not worthy of your scrutiny. What I'm after, that's what's important. Solomon and I are deeply invested in all things supernatural. Though we come at it from different angles. He's a man of science, but me. I only care about keeping things in balance and revealing them in their own time. Where were we? Right. Balance. That's one thing the Hard West has lacked for a long time. But lately it's gotten so bad you can't even count on death, much less taxes. Just look at you, Bill, for instance. If death can't hold sway over people anymore, then what's ever gonna stop them? That's interesting. I wonder if something happened to death. So in the first game, death narrates the entire campaign. He's a character in the game. But he's not present in this one, at least so far. So maybe something happened to him. Now leave Lazarus be. And we'll check out the Shadow Dance Camp. The Shadow Dance Camp was neatly hidden. Only due to Claylish's skill, we were able to find it. The numbers are strong here, and we dared not approach. I did dare to approach. <laughs> I can't feel the cold, but looking at you makes me shiver. Oh, my lashes are freezing over. Yeah. Let's go this way first. He cast it forth his ice like morsels. Who could stand before his cold? A refugee's tracks. This is where the refugees split into two groups. Half of them pressed on to Zeke's trading post. The other half turned back to Kala Kala. Keep your eyes open. We need to find more tracks of the lost ones. Yeah. Old Silver Mine. It was an old shallow mine, 
Whatever silver people found here must have barely paid for the cost of the operation. Search the mine. The mine proved to be a waste of time. Apart from an old pickaxe, it had nothing of value inside. Well, good news is, that's exactly what we needed. A new dialogue. As I've already told you, sir, I'm trying to unearth family savings. My puny shovel can't handle this darned frozen ground. Help me, and I'll pay you. Use pickaxe. You're lucky we're always well equipped. Now move aside. It didn't take an hour. We managed to dig up a crate holding some cash and boring trinkets, as well as a pretty nice shotgun. The stranger offered us $75 for our help. That's not much. I'd rather prefer the gun, but a promise is a promise. Right, Carter? Yeah, pulled the promise. It's wise to listen to wise advice. Right. My word means something. Good luck to you, sir. And next time, consider a bank. My word means something. I wonder if I would have the same dialogue if I had lied initially. Where did all this snow come from? Who Keller's farm? They call it a farm would be an overstatement. A bunch of barely holding buildings and broken fences. Whoever runs this place isn't doing a great job. But that Keller guy wasn't all bad. He's eager to trade at least. Talk with Keller. Uh, hello? How can I help you folks? Chat with Keller. How's life in Oregon, Mr. Keller? Oh, it's hard. Hard life, friends. Here in the north, everything wants to kill you. All the time. Nature, natives, beasts. But the people are the worst, Mr. Carter. Mark my words. People are the worst. Nothing new there. A nail bomb. It explodes and applies a bleed effect. Smelling salts. Let's say it cures poison and gives four hit points. I'm not sure what that other effect is. We have the money, so let's grab all that. Cover your eyes. All this snow can blind you. I do like how the game is opening up a fair bit now. We have quite a bit we can pursue. Alright, so this is going to be Pine Falls. Let's continue up this way. We know where one of the side objectives is. When will we finally camp? Saw thanks to more tracks, right? Yeah. Looks well, like we found some of the lost refugees. Corpses of the elderly and children. They must have lost their way in a blizzard. Let's hope at least some of them survive somewhere in the wild. We have to keep looking. Do we have to wander in this snow? Frozen Lake Military Camp. 
Lucky we found these horses. I got the lumber mill. Well, let's do the tracks first. There. Remnants of a campfire. Probably belong to our missing refugees. Tracks lead toward that cave over there. What is that among the ash? Human femur, all charred, and with teeth marks all over it. I was afraid that's gonna be the case. Need to keep moving your toes, even as we ride. A seemingly dead and frozen lumber mill stood upon a nearby hill. We didn't notice any movement. Investigate. We entered the main building and came upon a place of a massacre. I've seen some grisly sights during the war, but this, this was inhuman. Whole crew eviscerated. Whole, except one man. He was still alive, but wounded and half frozen. I'll right, see if we can come back here later. I just need whiskey. As well grab both of those. And let's go and grab these as well, because we might need them for an event as, uh, later on. Shield your eyes, so the snow don't blind you. Alright, treat the survivor. We use our own dwindling supplies to stabilize him and warm him up. Thank you, thank you. I thought it was a goner. By Jove. It was terrifying. We heard a howl, an inhuman howl, and then they were inside. Huge beasts. All claws and teeth. Let's look what they've done to my friends. I was hoping he was mad. The idea of such beasts prowling the snow-covered landscape showed me worse than the wind. At least a grateful lad pointed us to some drugs hidden in the office. We left him, assured he'll be able to return to his family by himself. Alright, so the wonderful tonic. An amazing remedy which, according to its manufacturer, helps with ailments of all sorts. Let's just say that it can keep you on your feet until a doctor fixes you up. So patching up. The character heals four hit points at the beginning of their following turns. For three turns, okay. Check out the hidden cave. It's more a deep crevice than an actual cave. We called, but no one answered. Inspect the area. If any of the lost refugees ventured here, they would have surely fall fallen down into it. Like there's some typos in this. Uh, tripping on the ice-covered rocks. Only a very skilled climber would be able to scale down there without a rope. I use rope. You can trust me. I know my knots. So, who wants to go first? At the bottom of the rocky crevice, there was a single young man, alive but barely. He had frostbitten fingers and ears. Once we warmed him up, he woke, thanking us with a thin voice. For some reason, Laffendier seemed tense around the survivor. It is obvious that he only survived because he ate the flesh of his fallen comrades. Such an act will surely make him turn into a wendigo, a carnivorous demon. We should kill him now. Save him and his family the agony. This is not our decision. We do not know if the curse would work on a settler. Let's bring him back to his people. Let them deal with him. Kill the cannibal. I'm gonna side with Laughing Deer this time. Well, you know what? We don't know. So it's probably Wendigos that attacked that uh, lumber mill that we checked out. Now let's help the survivor. You see, it was a good decision. Lelish is right. We're hired to find him. Let's get him back to his family. That's right, we're also asked to find him. 
Alright, speak with Quailish. Yeah, uh, ask Quailish to hunt for your game. Ask Quailish to hunt for us. Without a word, she was gone in the wild. An hour later, she came back, bearing rabbits and a young deer. Chapter 3 The conflict became known as the Elkrat Massacre. A newspaper in Seattle sent reporters to investigate. And they discovered what had really happened. That damn fur traitor got run out of the area. Which I suppose was the smallest possible measure of justice. One day when I was 14, an old man named Merka came to visit my cousins and me. According to my aunties, he was always trying to stir up trouble. And when he saw me, he got the scent of it and refused to let go. Yeah! Yeah! The valuable let's get supplies. out of this goal! Alright, let's um return to town. Turn in this one quest. I do get the feeling that Laughing Deer made the right call, and we should have killed the cannibal, but we'll see what happens. Uh, talk with the Kala Kala refugees. We approached a group of troubled refugees, right outside the trading post. I bring the sole survivor to his family. $25 and snakeskin boots. Here's the only survivor we managed to find. He's in bad shape, but he'll live. As for the rest, they perished in the blizzard. The refugees were happy that we managed to save at least one of their own. They didn't have much hope. They rewarded us with what they could spare. Alright, snakeskin boots. Old but comfortable snakeskin boots. The previous owner inscribed their initials TS on the soles. I right, see, so resist crippled and plus two speed. Alright, we'll check out the military camp next. Also, let's check on my progress with all my companions. She's currently an ally. Like, is her fireproof? Uh, the character is resistant to burning. He's a companion. Companion, an accomplice. It's also the frozen lake. Uh, we'll start with the military camp. Yeah, yeah. In case it leads to combat. Let's get out of this cold. A group of soldiers set up a camp nearby. I remember the war good enough to recognize negligence when I see it. The camp was dirty, poor, and the number of soldiers too low to maintain it. Approach the camp. Nothing like the army life, eh, boys? The soldiers were wary as they saw us approach. We seem to quickly understand that it, in their shape, would be unwise to antagonize us. In the end, they let us in, as long as two of them accompanied us with the rifles at the ready. Apparently, they answered to no one. Uh, oh, sorry, to one Lieutenant Drake. Also, they mentioned a quartermaster could use our help regarding his dwindling supplies. Uh, visit the quartermaster. As we enter the quartermaster's tent, we're welcomed by empty shelves and crates full of spoiled potatoes. Trade first. Uh, so the Widowmaker is an upgrade. For a couple folks. No, is it? 
It's only five damage. What does Bill have? I his did six or seven damage. Uh, ask about the dwelling supplies. The quartermaster is running out of supplies for the soldiers, but reward us for bringing him any provisions. Get provisions. Uh, the quartermaster was so moved by our generosity, he allowed us to pick merchandise from his special inventory. Here we go. The desert ranger, that's right, that's what Bill has. A sawed off shotgun. A stubby version of a standard shotgun. Shoots much faster, but reloading it can be darn slow. And a bullseye chance buff. Uh, the character adds 15% bullseye chance when using the weapon. And a chain gun. This weird prototype of a rifle is outfitted with a rotating cartridge chamber mechanism, not unlike that used in revolvers. Thanks to this solution, the rifle gained higher rate of fire. The complicated construction significantly reduces, reduced its accuracy. A chance to hit debuff, the character gains a minus 25% chance to hit when using the weapon. Sounds terrible. This would be worth getting if I had the money for it. Alright, visit the commander. Lieutenant Drake was a tall, serious, and somewhat melancholic man, but he had a spark of intelligence in his wary eyes. A rare thing among the brass. He offered us some thin coffee in his tent. I asked what they were doing here. Uh, why are you here, Lieutenant? I can see this winter is bad for your people. We're hunting a dangerous group of natives. They call themselves Shadow Dancers or something of that ilk. When this cursed winter kept getting worse, we're forced to entrench ourselves here. The worst thing is that we lost most of our horses in those darn blizzards. We're hoping to buy at least a dozen from the local rancher. Can I spare even one man to go and settle the deal? Do this for me, and I'll make it worth your time. I agree to go see the rancher. We'll try and look into it. Ask about the native village's emissary. A group of friendly natives from the south sent one of their own to parlay with you. Have you seen anyone like that? We caught one, if that's what you're asking. He's observing our camp. You do understand our situation. We must be careful. Every native seen might be a Shadow Dance spy. You can go see him in the makeshift prison. A man roughed him up, but he's still in one piece. We'll let him go once we learn about the Shadow Dance's camp location. Alright, visit jail. The emissary was just a teen boy. He sat in a flimsy cage, guarded by two bored soldiers, his hands and feet tied. At least they fed the boy from time to time. Talk with the prisoner. Elish spoke to the boy. As soon as she mentioned his home, the boy's face brightened. He swore he knew nothing of the Shadow Dance. We've already found that Shadow Dance camp the lieutenant is after, remember? Let's just report its location to him. Now let's do the horse bargaining first. That's all the way over there. Alright, visit the commander. Hopefully we can still do this other quest after. A report where the Shadow Dance camp is located. Here, we found your Shadow Dance camp. Now free the boy. He's got nothing to do with them. And so, Lieutenant Drake, reasonable man, if I ever seen one. Let his prisoner free. We're ready to return to Lelanaet's village to report the happy ending. This map is very sizable. All 
Alright, talk with the natives. Uh, tell the chieftain that you freed the emissary. We managed to free the boy. He's safe and sound and should come home soon. You have my word. He's grateful. Now he and the elders will need to decide how to proceed. He wants us to take this artifact as a reward. You should feel honored. Right, we got a jawbone club. A war club made from a buffalo's jawbone. With the granite's wood or the spiritual power of such honorable beasts. It cripples enemies. They can't move. Which usually their melee range. You don't want them to move anyway. It's freezing out here. Or does it matter if they do move? Oh, this wind will be our death. Now let's go to the frozen lake next. As we rode through the frozen lake, we met a group of hardy fishermen gathered around a hole in the ice. They looked pretty relaxed, but we could see that their baskets were full. Approach the fishers' camp. Ho there. Having a really good day, I see. The merry company welcomed us warily, but warmly. After a while, we were handed some rods and encouraged to try and catch something for ourselves. Join the fishing. We agreed and joined them. The Claylish was the only one who managed to catch anything. Just as she was pulling out another beautiful lake trout, one of the men slipped and fell in head first into the frigid water. Jump into the water. For Christ's sake, people. Thanks to our quick reaction, we managed to save the poor fool. His friends rewarded us with food and some booze. We left soon after. I can't feel my extremities. Not that I normally do. Alright, so this will be a combat Wrap encounter. I think we'll save something. that for next time. Unless they freeze. So we can't track down this horse rancher next. There's Pine Falls. Let's hold off on that for right now. Oh, what I want is a warm bath. Where does the path lead? We could all use some hot coffee. All right, to the horse ranch. It was a rather small, secluded ranch, ran only by one man. He was good at his job. He managed to keep his horses healthy and fed, despite the weather thanks to a barn full of good hay. He had other problems, though. Enter the ranch. What are you looking for in that darn weather, huh? Explain Lieutenant's deal to the rancher. So they need horses. And what do I care? My daughter is sick. Even all of their so-called military exchange bills won't buy the medicine I need. Help her or get lost before I grab my gun. Treat the rancher's daughter. The little girl was very sick and needed treatment. A lot of opportunity with Lazarus, but we haven't had a lot of dialogue to boost his loyalty. Uh, spare your own medicine. You're in luck. We're carrying something that could help. Here, take this. God bless you. They think I was ready to shoot you on sight. Give me these darn military bills. I'll eagerly trade a dozen of my horses the life of my girl. Tell your lieutenant we have a deal. Wrap your fingers in something. Lest they freeze.
Right, or report about the horses. We set out a deal with the rancher. We'll get your horses soon. Now, about that reward. Splendid. As promised, there's an exceptional piece of weaponry. It belongs to our captain, but the darn could but the darn cold took him. Let's read that. Or I could give you eighty bucks instead. So the Desert Ranger sells for a hundred dollars. That is more valuable. Plus it's a higher damaging pistol. Oh, uh, that's a beautiful piece of iron, Lieutenant. I'll take it. Oh, he starts with the Desert Ranger. Oh, good for him. Uh, we probably sell the, the hell are we? gun and the club that we have. I just don't see the crippled effect in melee being worthwhile. And dirty copper, that's just obsolete by this point. Alright, I am going to call it here. Uh, next time... Well, we do have more to explore. Hmm. So I assume we have to do all three of these. So doing one shouldn't progress the story too much. At least that's the hope. So I think we'll do Kala Kala next time. So we can actually see some action. And then we'll continue exploring this area. But for now, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.